Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, David asked me to say some words about NSDI, or the North Sea Discipleship Initiative Ministry here at uh, North Sea Baptist Church. It's uh, coordinated by myself and Christy. And um, so I thought I'd start with uh, Scripture first. The central mission of the NSDI ministry is to follow you know, the last chapter in Matthew 28, uh, where uh, Jesus is about to ascend into heaven, and he tells his disciples, go and make disciples of all nations and teach them to obey everything I commanded you. But you know, it's more than that too. Uh, I thought of another ver verse this morning uh, from Hebrews 10. It says, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. So, you know, um, alone we are limited. We can only do so much. Uh, this uh, NSDI program uh, really is also about encouraging each other in the faith, and God intended that for us, and he commands it in, in the Bible. So through NSDI, we, we encourage each other. We follow a biblical formula where we form triads or groups of three men or three women, and, um, it, you know, as written in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, a uh, cord of three strands is not easily broken, right? Again, it's about encouragement and coming together in Christian fellowship. So the, the formula is the Christian fellowship, firstly, the group of three uh, people. And then we add the Word of God. We study the Word together. And uh, we learn how to be better followers of Jesus. We pray for each other, and we invite the Holy Spirit to work to, to then uh, help us change our hearts. And after being part of a triad, some then go on to lead their own triad. And uh, this then uh, follows the Great Commission of multiplying uh, disciples for God's kingdom. So this morning, I have the pleasure to introduce Philomena. She would come up. And Philomena was in one of our uh, triads this year. And so uh, she has a testimony for us today. Let's just bow our heads and, and pray for her testimony this morning. Heavenly Father, we just uh, thank you for Philomena, and we thank you for the NSDI ministry. And we just ask this morning that you bless her words today, that they may be pleasing to you, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Philomena. And um, when my friend Dumebi told me about the discipleship program, I didn't know what to expect. So I was like, OK, no problem. I'm available, so I'll join. But when we started, I realized that it was something that I really needed as in, uh, in my life. And um, I realized that my personal relationship with God became stronger, bigger, and better. And in the course of the program, um, because I, I, I lost my dad, I, 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 I realized that whatever answer to the I needed for questions concerning life, on how to live my life, or why my dad passed, and so many other stuff I could find in the Bible. I realized that all I needed to do was to pick up my Bible, go through it, and I will find an answer there that will calm my soul, my spirit, and every other thing. And in the course of it, I also realized that I was deep in Christ, as in I could I know him better. Every gathering I attend, or with friends, or with family, the first thing I do is to say, okay, can we just pray first? I realized that that, that Christianity in me got better. And I'm a hap I was happy about it because after the prayers, probably in a gathering or somewhere, and I just pray, and they're like, oh, Philomena, that was really nice, that, that was really good. And I, I'm happy about it because I, then I realized that I can be the only Bible that someone can read and turn to Christ. And in, 
In the fellowship too, I realized that sometimes I don't have the strength to carry on to just well, having um, read um, fellowship today, or like, <sighs> but I, again, it dawned on me that if I align myself with similar persons who are running this race with me, I'll get the, I will draw strength from them. I'll get the encouragement I need. And that was what happened with Dumebi and Busola who were in the triad with me. Because I could tell them anything and we'll pray about it and, and I'm happy I'll be able to carry on. And then even when I don't have time to pray or time to read the Bible, they send me some um, passages, Bible passages that strengthens me. And of course I realized that it's just like a marathon. When you're running a marathon, there are people on, on, the, on the way that are cheering those doing marathon. They give them water, they encourage them. It was like that for me because they encouraged me, they were there for me. They could, when I don't really understand because of course I can't understand everything, their own perspective, their own explanation makes it better for me to like know that God is real and God has the best interest for me. And um, finally, what's also that um, I realized with the triad is um, my purpose in life is to know God, to understand God, and to serve him. And also, in me knowing God, understanding him, I will be able to tell others or people around me about God. For example, I, my, my husband, yeah, we are Christians, we're Catholic, but he doesn't really read the Bible that often. So, but with this triad, I was able to, there's a plan that uh, my friend maybe introduced to me, and I was able to put in on his phone that every morning before he goes to work or before he starts his job at home, he picks up this app and he reads the Bible, of the verse of the day, and also have a plan to read. So it's easier, for, I don't have to explain because I don't have to explain anything to him. So he, we have a discussion at home, about God, about life, about the kids, and it's easier. I realized that it was easier for him to understand because he has made reading the Bible a daily thing for him. And also for me too, I made it a daily thing for me. So because, so when we discuss, it's so easy that um, I just want to go on every day with it. And also with it, I've been able to introduce my kids. One Bible verse a day, I explain to them the way I can best understand when you, have, when you have questions. So it's so easy for me now that at the end of the day, I just realized that in life, whatever answers we're seeking is in the Bible. Whatever question we have, the answer is there already. All we need to do is just pick it up and read it daily. And each day you, you understand better the previous times. You understand better the previous time. And this, in this journey, we all, can't do it all alone. We are individuals. We can't do it all alone. We need to draw strength from one another. And in a community like this is where you draw strength from. And um, with my friend um, Dumebi and the women's fellowship I, on, I attend, I realized that, that though is a personal race, is a personal relationship with God, but for you to be able to get there, you need people of God around you. You know the church around you. You need people with similar mindsets around you to be able to to pick you up when you fall, to guide you through, not judging at all. Whatever mistakes you made, not judging, and be able to point out where you can carry on or fall on. I just want to say thank you for this opportunity, and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Philomena. That was great. Um, and if, you, if any of you have questions about NSDI, you know, feel free to reach out to myself or Christy. We're happy to answer those questions for you. Uh, we'll start new triads probably after Christmas of three men and three women, but it's not too early to start thinking about it now. And uh, just put it on your heart if it's something that you want to do. If you join me in prayer now. Father, we, we just... Thank you for this biblical formula that you provided in your word that has no beginning and no end. And in Philomena and in Gideon last week and others, Father, you know, we see the hand of God. We see your hand making all things beautiful and restoring your kingdom. So we just ask that you bless this NSDI ministry and grant us the will to continue to encourage each other in faith. Father, we've just seen a glimpse of your glory today 
and it leaves us desiring more. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Amen.